Yesterday I'm sitting on my work desk when suddenly I received a phone call. I would like to know if it is possible to automate the slope calculation for my parking ramp sections. This person explained to me that he always have to manually use a calculator to finish his ramp sections. I told my friend that indeed his job can be automated using a parameter formula in a dynamic block. So when I started creating this dynamic block, I encountered some complex problems and I had to use some advanced techniques and tricks to fix them. Anyway, here are the problems that I don't want you to face when working with advanced dynamic blocks. And finally, the dynamic block I surprised my friend with. Hi AutoCAD designer, last week we talked about some AutoCAD bad practices when working on a team project. Today, let's save some time with a dynamic block. So I started it by drawing a 10 feet long line. And then I grabbed a calculator to get the 16% of 10 feet, which was 1.6. So I drew another line with this distance, 1.6 feet. And finally I drew a diagonal line connecting those two lines. At this point I created the block using, you know, the block command. And I proceeded to rename this block um, something like parking, ramp, slope and 16 since this was uh, the requirement from my friend to make this dynamic block at least for the 16 slope so i specified the base point here and then i double clicked on the dynamic block so i could go to the block editor here, what I did was basically add some constraints using the auto constraint command. And then I selected all of the lines and pressed enter. Then I used the horizontal dimensional constraint and clicking these two points, I renamed the first dimensional constraint to length and then i proceeded to add a vertical dimensional constraint from this point to this other one like so and for this one i renamed it height so once i had that i proceeded to open the parameters manager to add some formula to this dynamic block so basically what I did was going here on the height, I changed this expression and added a simple formula which was the length which is 10 feet right now multiplied by 0 0.16 which was the 16% for the slope. So once I did that and ran a quick test. I found out after I did a zoom extents that when I stretched the dynamic block like so, it kind of worked halfway, it kind of did work halfway because when I specified it a distance, for instance 25 feet and then just double check run the numbers on the calculator again by the 16% it gave me 4 feet so after I checked that it was indeed 4 feet the height of this ramp then I knew it was right but the base point needed to be fixed 
So to fix the base point, the base point of my dynamic block, first I needed to turn on the grips for this dimensional constraint. And wh what I tried to do was kind of select one of the grips and it was a little hard but I kind of figured it out and once I click the delete shortcut <laughs> what happened was that it deleted both of the grips so I didn't want to do this so I when I set it back to one it showed the grip that I didn't want it to show so this was a big issue and the and what I tried was to somehow use a different option to bring back the other grip so I did right click and kind of reset or pick two for the grips again from this right click option and again those two grips were showing but I only needed one so what I ended up doing is erased or removed the dimensional constraint and add a new one but in this new horizontal constraint I put so much attention which one I clicked first so for instance I click this one and then finally this opposite one this way the grip that will be shown would be the last click that I did so again when I went to the property palette is number of grips one and it's in the right location so I then did a quick test of this block and stretching the grip I realized that since I removed the old grip and added a new one I just needed to again up add the formula from the parameter manager so I did it really quick and this dynamic block that automate the slope at 16% was ready for my friend however I wanted to surprise my friend with a more smart dynamic block and what I did was the following instead of using a simple formula here on the height as a expression what I did was I added or created a new parameter named slope and basically this user parameter will have of course a of course a value or expression in this case would be 0 0.16 since this is the most used slope at 16% and once I had that new parameter I could use it here at the height using the length and then multiply this length by the slope that I just created and this way my friend could input any slow percentage using his dynamic block so once I did a quick test again I started stretching this dynamic block since I couldn't type in an exact distance I did turn on my dynamic bow my dynamic mode by using the F2 key on my keyboard and then I could type a distance like 25 feet so I did 
try the dynamic block at different distances 25 feet first and then 30 feet and both were working correctly for the heights as well as for the angles so when I so when I tried to change the slope percentage from the property palette to something like 0 0.8 what happened was that indeed what happened was that after I checked my calculator to see that the 10 feet in length by the 0.8% was 8 feet which was correct I knew my dynamic block was working but again the base point wasn't working correctly so I quickly opened the dynamic block and what I saw was that the base point wasn't at 0, 0,0 origin point so I needed to fix this so I had to remove this dimensional constraint to do so and then I drew a single line starting from 0, 0, 0 origin point like so so I could then select everything using the control A shortcut and move that to the correct location at this point I simply had to again draw the vertical dimensional constraint but this time starting from the bottom and working all the way up this will help the grip to work correctly and nicely and won't mess up with the base point of the dynamic block so I did change the grip back to zero and then since I removed the dimensional constraint I had to again use the formula that we that I used before which was the height multiplied by the slope and at this point this dynamic block shouldn't have any problem with the base point just to make sure I did a quick test stretching the dynamic block like so and changing to a different slope percentage in this case at 0 0.16 for the 16 percent slope and everything was working very nicely at this point I reset the block and was time to add it to my tool palette so I used the control 3 key shortcut to open my tool palette and then I click and drag it to add it to the tool palette at this point when my friend needed to do a ramp section he simply could insert his block from the tool palette like so then he could simply stretch his dynamic block to the desired location and move it where he needs it in this case over here he could also match properties to update the layer of his dynamic block oops it's not updating I forgot to follow the AutoCAD best practices when creating blocks because I was so excited to get this block done for my friend 
but I simply went to the property palette and changed this line to by block and then the other two lines to a specific layer in this case was the death point layer because I didn't want this layer to be shown or to print whenever my friend do a plot or print his drawing. Hey, I'm Irving from the Lazy Architecto. Here is another blog thanks to my Patreon supporters and subscribe for more AutoCAD blogs.